Oh, hi. Hi. It didn't ask us to like, did you get a button to like? I did. It oh, okay. There, yeah. That okay. We're, we're, it's allowing me to be recorded. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So fun. fun. Good. So fun. Um, we both know we have like a lot to cover. We do. And I am freakishly organized today. Oh, oh fabulous. I had, to, I had to bring him a little table. Me too. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going off of what you our last agenda. Yep, I'm ready to. Um, holiday wrap up? Yeah, holiday wrap up. Yeah. Um, okay. You want to start? You want me to start? Okay, so we had everybody home. I would say the high, I'm doing highs and lows. The highs was we were all together. And so we had a great time and ate and drank and snuggled and movied and just were us five, which was great. But my low, which was, I have a recommendation kind of high, we went so hard on Christmas Eve. We had a plan because, you know, it was the fourth Sunday of Advent. So we split up. The boys and I went to church at 8 a.m., uh, Patrick and Anna went to the butcher to get our tenderloin at 8 a.m., which they have a whole little tradition around. We did church. Then we went into the city, saw the nutcracker. We got home after like four o'clock church. So we were on for 10 o'clock church and we did not make it. <laughs> there was just no way. So we said to ourselves, okay, how can we make this better? So at eight o'clock, we watched the Royal Carols. And it's called, I want to recommend it. It's called, I put, I put it in the notes, um, Together at Christmas. And it is in Westminster Abbey. And it's like the Westminster Abbey Boys Choir. It's a bunch of British people I don't recognize singing. It's Hugh Bonneville reading from Paddington. There's a, and, and the royal family's there, which you know I, I jive on. I like that. So we got, we got our church button pushed, but I think not being able to like, like push through was- You had already gone that morning. We did, we had gone oh. that morning. So, I mean, we definitely got our ticket punched, but I think we were, we were a little ambitious. I think we just went, Christmas! And then by 8.30, we were all in the sofa, like, what were we That's thinking? fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, yeah, and my other high would be, Ticket to Ride. Have you ever played Ticket to Ride? No. Board game. Okay. And started like years COVID. We started with the first one and they have expansion packs. So now we are riding through simultaneously the United Kingdom and Pennsylvania. But like each year they come out with a new one with new tricks that you have to learn. And I think like we, we, Cooper, Josh and I, or Cooper and I, or Josh and I have been playing every night. So it is so fun like trivia like question no, like more like um strategy it's like risk or monopoly with train cars you're building train lines to kind of get the and there's all this different strategy around how can you win because you're what you're trying to do is get the law the, the, the highest number of points so cool it's very fun. And it like, depending on what set you play, we also have the Nordic one, which is like all of Scandinavia. So if you need any Scandinavian geography, I'm your girl. Um, but it takes, that one takes like 45 minutes. And like some of them, if it's just two of us playing, we can get it done in 45 minutes, maybe an hour if we're being vicious. So I have so to look this up. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'll link the first one, which is America, like the kind of start, like in Josh, sometimes will be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're going to make me play. And then he'll say, this is his guy. Like, can we just play America? Right. Like he doesn't like, so I don't have to think that hard. I just, I don't want to know where Tromso is. I don't want to understand where Bally Ho is. He's like, I just, if you're going to force me to do this, I got to go easy. Can we just play America? That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, so so we decided one of our new traditions is every year we're going to get an expansion. What what expansion will we get that Christmas? So it was super fun. That's a great, awesome tradition. How, how about you? Because you had house full. We had, well, four of us. So our core group and my mm -hmm. parents drove from Maine. So that was, I know, they're amazing. 
I was going to say, that's what we should aspire to. I know. 87 and 82 driving cross, cross country, country or whatever. A to fabulous the... sedan. Well, they, they brought, they just drove their sedan. They did. Okay. Yes. They didn't... Yeah. They didn't camp. They okay. didn't camp. But they go through, they go through uh, Canada and the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> how long does it take them? what's that how long does it take them they t they take three days which okay. is good like they do like eight seven six hours days you know which is great so we did we had a good time it was great I was recovering from my shoulder surgery <laughs> so I was um and we rented this recliner so I was queen Queen yeah. of the recliner and the ice machine and um, but that's all going well. Okay. And um I'd say, you know, well, a highlight for me, as is your husband, bird buddy. <gasps> we are obsessed. I am loving my bird buddy, like obsessed. Same. I had a little low about the bird buddy yesterday. Guess who got to it? Squirrels. It had been two weeks. I thought I was in the clear. I'm like, they can't, because I, right? Mm. So we're going to have to reposition Bird Buddy. It'll be 2.0. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll set you, I'll send you what we have. We lost, we have a big contraption that is anti-squirrel, but it's like a depot. Patrick's got like more than one feeder. And so there's, uh, and we lost it to a lightning storm. Not the depot, but a bunch of the feeders. So now he's got two up there, one being the bird buddy. We haven't had an issue with Good. score. So, because I'm obsessed with that thing. He Like, I'll get like two texts from him a day of what his new bird badge is. And they're the cutest things I've ever seen. They're it's really amazing. Good. So for those who don't know, bird buddy, yeah. it's um, a bird feeder with a camera, almost like a nest or a ring camera um, that it triggers when the birds land, it takes pictures and kind of some video and it identifies them and gives you little fun facts and ugh, you can live stream. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Are you, are you getting other people's pictures too? Everyone's small. Well, okay. You are too. Yes. Okay. So that's like in your feed. Okay. It's almost like Instagram. It's Instagram <laughs> for birds. Birds social media. <laughs> Oh, but I just love it. I love it. Love it. Um, another just quick high. We had gotten a used Peloton before Christmas, like mm -hmm. in our local marketplace for a steal, like crazy, crazy steal. This bike had never even really been ridden. This lady just wanted it out of her house. Anyway, we're all obsessed with Peloton. Welcome to the party. You're about five years late. I know this is how we roll. <laughs> Good for you though, because it doesn't need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Good. it. Love, love, Good. love it. Um, so. Good. Yeah. Well, and I will send you my favorite instructors. Okay. Yeah, I, I have. A, well, I love Cody, and I love the British version of him, Bradley. Oh, okay. But my favorite is Dennis Morton. Okay, I need. All right. Oh, I'm about to change your life, Dennis Morton. Yeah, it okay. was so cute because when I was uh, sick, um, work, because we have associations with Peloton through work, they um, sent me a video of him wishing me well because they knew that he was like, Wah. so I'll send you that too. It's really cute. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, it was a good present. <laughs> I watch it even though I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> and then I don't ride with him. <laughs> I just watch it. <laughs> Oh, well, um, you want to move on to acquisitions or stuff that, yeah. Do you want to talk knitting? Cause I had a bunch, like I okay. went on a knit vendor. So to preface the sweater, Patrick's sweater, I have made good progress on. I have finished the body and I am two or three inches deep into a sleeve. And so I'm going well, but it's taxing. It is dark, dark blue, black, and my eyes can't do it that much. And I have to be stationary and I need this light to be able to see. 
the ribbing on the body is not my best work. Thank God it's black because you cannot tell. But like, it was to the point where I was literally just, you want a vest, honey. I think a vest will be for you. So um, that being said, I've corrected or overcorrected by anything I buy has to be this big. Yeah. I have zero interest in committing to a another life's work. So I say all that, but I got some good stuff. Okay. You want to see my kits first? You want to go yeah. back and forth? You want to see all mine at once? We, whatever. We'll go back and forth. Okay. So I'll give you the first one, which is, I should have taken it out of the lab. My Monarch Knitting that I love. I order from them. Do you get their newsletter? No. Okay, I highly recommend her newsletter. All right. She's got it going on. This is a yarn shop in California, just south of Pebble Beach. And this is the yarn. I don't know if you can see it really yeah. well. It's poppy. It is Barocco Lana's Quick. Notice the quick. This is my uh. thing. <laughs> and I'm going to make woodland loafers. I want to see if you can see this well. Can you see those? Go right up to the, oh, um, the other way? Like, let me see if you can see them better over here if they're hanging. See. Yeah, there you go. There. You see? Oh, they're cute. Slippers. They're little slippers. And I figure when you're, you know how you always want slippers when you're traveling? Yes. I yes. figured that. Yeah, those are perfect. And the ratings are really high for people who've completed them. I think based on the yarn, they should be a pretty quick knit. And again, that's my mojo for 2024. Is what can I finish without a soul crushing? <laughs> so we'll see so that's one of mine but do she, they have she, um bottoms or is it just it, a like a sock base a it, thick? Uh, yeah she says you can either use a foot form or a shoe last when you steam them and then that's it nothing else. I think they're just fancy socks but awesome. not yeah so it should be fun to knit they, they're so cute they look like moccasins yes and so um and again they're with chunky yarn and that's my mojo so and I love red they'll be cute I had I had big Christmas dreams oh I'll just sit there and knit these over Christmas nice. that's a lie but right, right also the thing I would say about her kits is I feel like they're really affordable she's not doing she's not grossing it up because it's kitted she's really mm. just two times the yarn and here's a pattern or however times the yarn and here's a pattern love so, that yeah but because yeah, you I and I have always said, you know, do the thinking for me. I'm very happy to have someone else figure it out what I should yeah, be doing. Exactly. Um, and, and they're finding patterns like nobody would have ever, like if I was going through Ravelry, and we'll talk about that in a minute, I would not have found myself looking at loafer patterns. Right. I wouldn't have said to myself, hey, slippers, that's for me. But when she put it together, I thought, oh, these are adorable and manageable. Ugh. Right. So. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's got, she's got the good kits. Well, I actually, I, well, I really, I have two. I'm going to show you one though. Okay. Are you well, ready? I've got two more. Just so okay. You know. Okay. So this was my, the only kind of splurgy thing I did. Biche Bouche. I don't know what this is, but that box is fabulous. Um, They are, I believe they're French. The girls who own it are French, but maybe they're out of Norway. Uh, sorry, we'll link below okay. where they are. And um, so this amazing. Oh, so I saved it for Christmas. It was actually an Advent situation. It didn't matter though because. Okay. And <laughs> I love this. When I opened this on Christmas and realized what it was, and that each of these fabulous bags was their own special thing I told my family like oh sorry I'm not gonna actually even go through this right now I need special quiet time to no. <laughs> but every little bag so it was labeled one through four hand this adorable handwritten tag each bag had this sweet <laughs> yes telling you what oh. to do with it little fabulous cup of tea i'm now obsessed with this tea clipper clipper tea okay oh british like the strawberry tea was like to die for 
Okay. And then, you know, like, so this is a sack yarn. So pretty. Look at their so font. I know oh. that because of their adorable font. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Classic, amazing. Um, so there were, between these four weeks, there was two skeins of, um, two skeins of sack yarn. Oh, look at that one. How fun will that be? <gasps> nice. And then, and tea and goodies and yarn and mohair to make a hat. Oh, I just have to show you this last. And then one goodie. I want to see it all. You do? Okay. Look at it, like happy little bags. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is <gasps> like a scrunchie. But like European, beautiful linen yeah. smells like lavender. Oh. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, That's look at me with my arm. Look at that arm moving. I know, you didn't even bat an eye. Yeah. Good girl. Anyway, I, I just, oh, it yeah, makes yeah. me, so, I wish you could smell just even this cotton twill is like thick. Yeah. They just get it. They get it. Uh, so that's good yeah it's a goodie that's a goodie I have Advent Box Envy we'll All see right. if any of that gets done okay so you are the problem with this one you again have created a monster I like to blame you for my own foibles so that knitting place Dinah and Pam so I went deep with this on my sister these are two women Dinah owns the knitting place and they're on Long Island. And I was born on Long Island. My sister was raised on Long Island. And there is something so comforting about seeing these two women go back and forth and talk about their weekend and just what's going on in such a normal way. And so Dinah owns the knitting place. Pam works there. They're both avid knitters. And for me, the real joy of it was that they brought designers and yarns I was not seeing. So I felt like they have broadened my scope. Now you're gonna chuck when you see this. So just try to hold yourself together. But this to me, the other thing I love about them is I think they do fabulous things with color. They're putting together color that I would never dream of. So that's the other reason I really like the kit is, oh, I would not have done that. That being said, I'm still sticking to the safe side of the pool. I'm not going deep. I'm admiring their choices, but I'm going, that works for you. But, okay, are you ready? <laughs> Not <laughs> really. One of the kits that I bought, and it's by Dinah. She's done both of the patterns for the kits. It's called the City Light Stash. And you, okay, hold together. I'll go I'll go gently to, into, to the hardest. You hold together this, and I went gray. Beautiful. Mohair. Yes and sequins <gasps> and this will give the hat like a sparkly beautiful That's fun look how pretty that all is together that is so fun there it is and right. then on top, oh. on top on top on top will be top. Oh. isn't that beautiful it's so now, the thing that they're doing, which, you know, again, because I'm sticking to the safe end of the pool, if you look at the kits, so we'll link them, they're doing like, they're putting gold with green. They're putting silver with black. They're, they're mixing it up in a way that I think is really, really interesting. So, and they had a ton of, like, that's the other thing I like that they do. The two of them aren't going in for four kits. They're putting together like 12 different colors. And I think that is impressive. Right. Okay. It's and a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I, but I also feel like they're also very good at yarn. Is that, can mm -hmm. I say that? Mm -hmm. that in different types of yarn companies for these patterns. So you're not like, if you picked a different colorway, you're getting three different companies than the three that I have. Right. right? They're not keeping it all in a box. So they're pulling far and wide based on the color and saying, will this work with this pattern? I think that's super cool. It's so good. And I can feel myself get a little like, Ooh, I know, I know, but that's why I think 
it, right? Like one of the designers that they both do a ton of patterns around, which I, I, I'm so impressed with her designs. I don't know if I'll ever make one because it's so out there for me. Sweater Freak, mm -hmm. she's got it going on. And I'm so impressed with just her color choices. And like, she's very black and white or X and Y. That two color pop on color, like it just, love it. Visually, I love it. Right. So. Oh, so good. Yeah. And I'm so caught up on their webcast, like their podcast. I'm like, I, I need another. I just need to hear their voices. It's like my comfort. So oh. I love. <laughs> you should, you should comment that to them on. Yeah. They would love that. You know? Yeah. That's on my pilgrimage list. I want right. to go out. And, and it was so funny because my sister, who's not a knitter, I was telling her about them and she listened to it. And she's like, it felt like I was in mom's kitchen. It felt, I know, does it make you weepy? She's like, it felt like when they were having their coffee talk that I was home. And I was like, oh, making me weepy. Oh, so good. So good. Well, it's um, my other thing to share is that I got for Christmas. I'm sure your children probably send you detailed Christmas lists of like ours come in like almost PowerPoint presentations <laughs> with links attached. Colors. Oh, girls, they will tell you what they want and where to get it. And, you know, so, so the joke was with, you know, mom, I literally only had one thing, one thing that I wanted. It just, I put it out there and I thought, Hmm. I wonder if anyone's on that, you know, I wonder if anyone's on that. Well, it, it came, it came. This is, um, Gudrun Johnson and Mary Jane Mucklestone grand adventure knits Shetland. Oh, so they do tours to Shetland together. I've done them for years. Okay. So this book is patterns, um, some socks, but also just beautiful, um, um, Shetland landscapes and there's Gudrun. I love You've her. seen her at Ryan Beck. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, and it's just super inspiring. Picture in the back. What? Picture in the back of Shetland. Like there, no, it was in the, 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 yeah. I mean, I so it, do you watch Shetland? No. Oh, <gasps> Okay, I'm about to change your world. You gotta watch Shetland. It is based on mystery books. Yeah. And um, you don't even need to have the sound on. You can just watch how they're living. It's so beautiful. The crime, I love the, the, the mysteries and I love Jimmy Perez, who's the first detective. I just started the eighth season where they've introduced a new detective that's now out of the no based on the books no longer the books you know what I think I did watch this and it's amazing and I had a hard time understanding it is oh because the, the yeah. accent is so thick yeah I okay. must be into it now but try it again and you don't have one of the great things that I was going to say because I saw that picture because I was watching one the other day and the two female detectives are driving together and the woman one woman turns to her and says no trees and the other woman goes, what? What are you talking about? She goes, no trees. That's what you can't figure out. When you come to Shetland, the thing that makes you feel like it's super weird is there are no trees. And it was just so funny to see their exchange about it. But like, I never thought about that. Like looking through all those pictures. I do. I want to go though, Kate. I'm ready. We got to plan it. We, I, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. um, cause it was, oh, the end of the story is it was like out of stock everywhere Whoa. so once daddy decided he better get on it he just thought is this was going to be an easy click click <laughs> put it in the cart yeah yeah so thank you to um i think it's the woolery in minneapolis came through he got like the last copy oh my gosh so he had to go really wide and deep on that one good okay thing. good thing good 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 okay all right. So can we talk technical knitting for a minute? Yes. Okay, this was my big question from the week. Where are you? Did I not bring it in here? Oh, crap. All right. We might have to talk about it next time. No, you're Sophie Shaw. Yeah. But I don't know oh. where it is. I don't know. Go find it. 
I'm going to go find it. I'll talk to the people. Talk to the people while I go find it. I know exactly where it is. All right. I'm going to tell them about my books that I've read. Okay. Um, Hi. If anyone needs an easy read in this time of January, um, maybe you've already read it. The Magnolia Stories about Chip and Joanna Gaines. It's just easy breezy. Um, kind of interesting to hear how they built the business. And I had made some assumptions about them. I'm talking about Chip and Joanna. Oh, okay. I read this. Loved it. You loved it. Okay. Loved it. I, it's um just really interesting how they built the business and I had made assumptions maybe about I don't know and they've worked really hard so that's my one book rec and then I just finished this last night The Little Liars oh Holocaust story mm. World War II Holocaust and beyond uh, but the difference in this is that the um Jews who were impacted are from Greece. There was a oh. huge Jewish population in Greece that was um um impacted. So I highly recommend it was excellent. Excellent. Okay, fun. Highly recommend. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna do books since we're on books. Okay. Okay, so I finished last night Signal Fires by Danny Shapiro. I don't have it to show because I did it with my Libby on my Kindle. Five stars. I would highly, highly recommend it. It's a story of two families who are intertwined and something horrible happens. And it's how the families get through the horrible thing from it's starting right at the first page all the way. And it interweaves. I, I loved it. They're a beautiful imagery beautiful stories. It really makes you think about your family relationships. I very good. So awesome. I would highly recommend it. And it was funny. It would, I was waiting, waiting, waiting on my good, on my Libby for it. And then boom, it popped up. I think I started it Wednesday night and I finished it yesterday afternoon. I, I like, I couldn't put it down. It was very, very good. So, That's and then my rest with that one, quick, my quick. other two, yeah, we're okay. So this is my weirdo one. This we all still have to put on the travel list. This is Christmas at High Clare Castle. And it is the real Downton Abbey. And what I and it's so funny, I just realized she has another one that's called At Home at High Clare. Boom, right in the basket. I didn't even think twice. The what she does about it is they have the historical records from the original house dating back to the Abbey. So they know exactly in like 1438, what they served at Christmas, who came, when the servant's ball was, like all the way through time. So it's recipes, it's pictures, but then it's like, these are our traditions on Boxing Day, or this is how I manage this kind of thing. And this is why we need people to come visit our house. And this is why we, so it is really good. Can you show a picture? Yeah, let me find a really good picture of like what I'm talking That's about. That's amazing though. I love, mm, history major Gretchen is oh, all you, over that. Uh, I want to find a good picture because she's talking about like the, his, and then they, she does quizzes, like how they've um, invited the people into their homes, into her oh. home, right? So they're living there, but like they bring the whole community in or like all of the volunteers in the community. And then she's got a chef, but she does a ton of the cooking. Um, and then she talks about wrapping. Oh, they have a Christmas market in their house to raise money for the people, local Christmas vendors. Wow. And then what you would love is like, most of the food she's cooking out of here, they're greenhouse, mm. right? Like they're like, and then there's tons of sheepies in here, just sheepies walking around. Right, like it's the real deal. She's not joking around. And she's, what do they call it? The Countess of Carnarvon. So she's trying to keep this thing afloat, but like medieval mince pie. She tells you the whole story of why people eat mince pie. I mean, I just sat under the Christmas tree oh. with this book and was like, nom, 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 nom. How did you even find that? I'm gonna tell you, but you're not gonna wanna hear it. My friend Josie, you know Josie on the British interwebs, who's always working out and buying shit she doesn't need. But that, one of her Christmas presents was a membership 
to Hi Claire. So they went to go and have tea with her and she got an autographed copy of the book. And then what she was doing is she was, she made all of her Christmas stuff from the book. Like all of the Christmas recipes. She's like, I'm going to try to copy a bunch of these. Wow. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's so pretty. That's okay. Oh, look at you. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, okay. So that's one end of the spectrum. The other end is my sister told me about this cookbook that she got her son. Have you seen this before? I don't even know if you can see how cool that font is. This is called oh. Molly Bass. Bridget yeah. wanted her um, subscription for Christmas. Okay, okay. Like her online. So she got, that's so funny, you and Bridget. Yeah, so I will link this. I've made so far three recipes. They are testing my metal. Right. Like I tried to make two on the same night and it was like the kitchen blew up. There was, I, I, I don't know if I still have it. My burn from touching a pan. Oh. So it was like a thing, but the food was great. Okay. At the end, once I didn't die of, a, you know, burn and everything, but I, here's one of the ones we made. I don't know if I can see. It's a Brussels sprouts mm. with um, the sticky fish sauce and shallots. Mm. Crispy crackle salmon. We made drunken cacio e pepe the other night. Um, I love the graphic. I love yeah. her font. I love her look. Yeah. And I'm glad to hear the food is good. The food is really good. We'll see. I'm going to keep cooking through it, but three for three so far. And then um, my sister said her, the reason they got her son this one is he cooked through the first one, which is cook this book. And supposedly she's very lessons. She like one of the things she has in the cookbook is a QR code. And so if you're struggling with one of the things she's talking about, she hit the QR code. She's got a video right there or an audio telling you do this. And so I thought that was really clever that yes. she's and then um, kitchen setup. All the things you need in your pantry, how often she cites them and all the recipes. Mm. So it's it, it, it was a well I was excited. It was a well constructed book. So we'll see. Love it. You're so hip. Well, you know what? It's all these recommendations if you just try. Right. And and then I went I went to the bookstore and I read it. I'm like, how many of these things will I eat? How many of these things will I make? And there's a whole, she's got a graphic in there that's speedy. To her, speedy is 45 minutes. Right. To me, speedy is 20, 15. Right. Same. So, okay, if my day-to-day -day life big for me would be 45 so I I'll try those first and I'm like, okay so yeah. we'll see I love it so um okay. all right Sophie Shaw is Sophie yeah. Shaw in the house yes we found it okay so here's what's going on I um knit knit knitting on this thing and it is getting big so I'm you know it is one of these patterns where you increase 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 then decrease decrease so I had started to decrease. You can see here's the middle. Yes. And, and I thought, oh, I had that huge thing of Noro pseudo, which remember comes that ball of yarn comes like the size of your head. It's like this, but like an idiot. And I will call myself that gladly. I did not weigh it and I should have weighed it or I looked at that and then done like it's, she's got tiny fine prints, probably not in that tiny that says knit to half and then go the other way. I did not. I followed the pattern as one does. And so I, and then I went to my yarn store hoping to get another ball. They did not have it. So I ordered it, but not before I thought to myself, I'm going to make it. I started to decrease, like it's a pattern of six repeats. So you, re you decrease every sixth row. Right. I started to do four. Mm-hmm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make it if I do four, because I'm getting pretty close. That's how many stitches I have left across. Now that I'm getting a whole ball of yarn, do I go back to every six? Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of six. All right. Because I think I started to go every four, like about here. Yeah. So it's not going to, it'll be you, fine. All right. Because I'd rather have it be longer. Okay. So I'm going to go back. All right. How, it, oh, so how long? Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. It goes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be so happy. Yeah. 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 So, and then for part of me, because you know, I'm so sick of like that other sweater, I um 
I was like, I'm just going to cast it off. And I stopped myself and I said, you have been slave, not slaving. That's my TV car knitting. It's not deep. It's knit, 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 knit. But I was like, why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just order the other ball of yarn and then make mittens to go with the shawl or whatever, do something. But so it's supposed to arrive today. We'll see. Good. Yeah. Good plan. Good job. So I'm going to go back to every six decrease. I, I, I would. I think okay. you'll be happier because it'll be longer. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. And I, I want you, to. You could. No. Okay. No, don't even say it. I know what you're going to say. Rip back. But. I know I could. Just for the viewers, if this happens <laughs> to you, you could just gently pull back to that. <laughs> Don't you see? I have 58 kits to make. I'm a very busy knitter. <laughs> I know. So every time you say like sweater, I'm like, I hear you because I am, oh my gosh, so close. I know. So Look close. At, so I can I have to ask you a question. Sleeves before body. Was that the pattern or was that your decision? That was my decision. Okay. <laughs> I look so good. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I decided it was a similar situation to the Sophie. Wasn't okay. sure I had enough yarn. Okay. Okay. So I thought, let's finish the sleeves. I put this on hold, finish the sleeves in the meantime, ended up ordering another skein of yarn. Okay. So now I know I can keep going. I probably will still have been okay. Yeah. But I, I've i like you, have made too many, finish things too quickly that yeah. then I, let, I regret. Yeah, Sleep yeah, yeah. too short, bottom not long enough, all those things. So, yeah. Um, well, I don't know how I feel like once I finish the sweater for Patrick and he's so excited about it and I'm excited yeah. to give it to him, but I think I'm going to take a sweater. Break. Oh. I think I'm going to try to do hats and just get mojo. Yeah, cleanser. Yeah. 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 So. I know the one thing I wish, and I guess I could still do something. I wish I had done maybe like a little fun color. Yeah. You know, a little hot pink at the cuffs or something just to jazz it up. But or maybe I'll do some embroidery. I don't know. I saw someone, I have to find it embroidering the other day. Uh, on, and I think it does make a difference. I still have to do it to my wonky, wonky sleeve on my one sweater that I yeah. haven't done. Yeah. I can make a note about that. Um, All right. How are we doing? Okay. Okay. All right. So the last thing I had on our list, well, I had two things. I had travel. Yes. And then our non-alcoholic booze discussion. Yes. They got non-alcoholic booze, non-alcoholic drinks. What? What do you call it? What should we call that? I know in non-alcoholic drinks, mocktails. I still call it booze because I think. Good. Yeah. An element of it. Right. I, actually, well, let's just go into it. Um, The Wall Street Journal. Do you get the Wall Street Journal? New York Times. Yeah. The journal on um, whatever, the week before the week after Christmas, that New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. the cover story in one of their sections was what we're drinking in 2024. And I'll send you that. Oh, we, maybe we can link to it. It okay. was awesome article. Just saying, basically the crux of it was like, who cares what's in your glass? Why does it matter what's in your glass? And right. talked about the sober curious movement and just the momentum it's gaining and um, the breadth of choices and mm -hmm. it was just, it, it was very empowering. Yeah. One thing they did say to your thing, and this has always bugged me is, um, mocktails just like gets me. Like, I do not like that mm -hmm. word. No, because both the mock something about it, I think is snark related. And I just, why does it have to have a distinction? Your cocktail has alcohol in it. Mine doesn't. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Um, well, I brought, I have a couple of favorites here right in front of me. I have, I have a bunch too. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. I'll just start with um, a good go-to for me. The Lagunitas Happy Refresher. I think Sierra Nevada makes one too. Yeah. Um, so 
bubbly, hoppy, a little bit of a bite, have it with a lime, throw it in a wine glass. This is, I love these. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Um, you want me just, I'll just go through mine. Go through yours. All right. Oh. Corona, you won't believe it's not the real thing. <laughs> it, it's, I told you, it tastes exactly the same. It's so good and so refreshing. Yeah. Um, the athletic line of beers, so good. Uh, if you like beer, um, you will love these. Yeah. Um, my husband has really kind of introduced these into his midweek life. Um, mine told me he couldn't tell the difference. He had no idea they didn't have alcohol in them. Yeah. He said, he actually said to me, I wish you'd never told me that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And then um, this is my favorite kind of not beer thing um, for bitter, for worse. It, what is it? is it like a tea bag? No. So this little bundle made with love, not alcohol. That's their tagline. Oh, that's really cute. And it's four of these sweet little cans. Mm. They're just beautiful. And it's, um, I put them over ice lime okay. um club and kind of dilute it with club soda like I can make one of these like into three drinks okay um, rhubarb juice grape orange peel mm. bitter orange beet powder um hibiscus I it's just and it's got a little bite it's not too sweet I just can't do too sweet what where are you getting your things this is online that's online okay yes and actually in their newsletter they just said they said you know say what you will but we're on amazon now and and we they feel like we can get to more people by being on amazon so we're gonna do it um yeah portland oregon they've won a lot of awards okay it's a little bit of a splurge um, but I use but, it as a special but, treat. But basically you just said that's 12 drinks for you. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, so okay. That's what I brought okay. to share today. Okay. So I went a totally different way, which is good. Yeah. I love this. The Pathfinder. I think not only is this bottle adorable, but their whole mojo is adorable. It says immediate relief for malaise and ennui, cold feet and hot tempers, weak knees and low spirits. And I find that to be true. It's hemp and root. So I think when I drink it, it tastes piney a little bit. And I love that. I think that that like just makes me really happy. And if you go right to their website, they have cocktails that you can make with it, but it's basically not that tricky. It's like this plus club soda to throw a lime in. <laughs> this plus right. this so right. So I just think it's yummy and adorable. I love it too. I love it too. That's a big thumbs up from me, also. Yeah, it's a good one. Douglas fir extracts. Come on now. That just, you know, makes me so happy. Um, the other one that for me is a winter staple is this one. Do you have this? Tennyson's no. winter. I remember you brought that at Rhinebeck. I did. And this is what I was making our hot toddies with. I have to get that. Yeah. So I love a hot toddy and I, um, whatever your hot toddy recipe is, I, I use one that's called modern. I, I, we have to talk about copyright at some point. Cause I wasn't sure I could share it. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find it online in a linkable way, but like mine's from a cookbook mm -hmm. and it lemon. The thing that makes it so good is it apple cider vinegar. So it's lemon, apple cider, vinegar, maple syrup, that and then a ton of hot water, lemon, and a cinnamon stick, or an this is on a nice pod. Mm -hmm. But like that to me, because I miss bourbon. I would say if there was one thing I miss, it's bourbon. I don't miss it when I have a hot toddy. This black ginger does the trick, and I don't even think about it. So, and it's so such good. a. I, I actually put that one like in the medicinal healthcare, right? Like when you're feeling a little under the weather and you need. Right. That, and that vinegar, it's a good, good thing. So that's a good one. And then I brought two bottles of champagne. Or Yay. Yeah, what they'll say is de-alcoholized. So this is that Geisen wine company that I'm obsessed with. 
this is in my grocery store. Me too. And it sells out, right? Like if you go at the wrong time, it's empty. So I think you're right about it catching on. Um, I haven't had this one yet, but I love their white wine. I drink their Sauvignon Blanc and their rosé. And because you had showed it to me, we, we were texting. This is the naughty. But uh, Mia Neto, do you know this company? Is mm -hmm. a company to recognize because in your head, what you'll associate with it's the orange label Prosecco that you can get at the grocery store for 10, 15 bucks. It's not expensive, but Prosecco. Um, they have finally come out with uh, no alcohol one. And I don't have any bottles of it because I drank it all. And so I think I bought, there is a new store that opened here that had it and I'd never seen it before. And I was delighted because my family is the mimosa um, family on, you know, Christmas morning, that kind of thing. Um, so it's fabulous. I gave it out as my Christmas presents this year. So like when I'm going to see this person or that person and I just need a little thing, I'm like, why am I thinking I can't give them not out? So like my hairdresser. And Kate, would, I love that so much. You would be so surprised at how thoughtful people thought that was. They were really delighted that it was non-alcoholic. They didn't feel any kind of, I'm like, if it's for you, great. If not, pass it on. I just, you know, I love it. So I wanted to share something that I loved. And so. We're influencers, sister. No, oh, I tell you what, I, I was saying to Patrick last night, because we were talking about he's doing dry January. And he's like, I don't know if I can keep this up. So, um, but I'm like, I have to tell you, I don't miss it. Mm -hmm. I don't miss it. Yeah. There's so many good options. Yeah. So and many for anyone who's, um, I'll just say for anyone who's like exploring this or trying things out, um, yeah, there's definitely like a hump you get over. I think it's kind of like, for me, there was like a little bit of a, mm, at like a couple weeks, two weeks was kind of a ugh. and once I got over that then it was fine and then again at like a month and a half two months I was like whoa because you just start sleeping so well yeah and um but reach out to us if you have questions or yeah and I would say if you're really curious and really contemplating this listen to the Huberman lab on alcohol. It's funny because my brother's been all around the horn on this. Do I, do I not? He gets good. He goes back. I mean, he lives a tough life. He's a pilot and a military, like ex-military pilot. So he's, you know, trying to figure this out for himself. He says to me, I wish I'd never listened to that thing. He's like, once you listen to that, you cannot go back. And so I, he's like, I'll be having a drink and I'll be thinking, why am I doing this? So it's just, if you're really ready to commit, I would recommend that. If you're not, mm, maybe right. not. But 30. the information is good. Yes. Science-based data. Yeah. Very, presented in a very non-judgmental way. Um, That's what I like it. It's not judgmental. Yeah. But here's yeah. the fact, ma'am. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. How are we doing time-wise? Because do we have time to talk travel? Yes. All right. So I have a, I have a curveball to maybe add to our list of things. I think Norway might be out for me. Okay. Because I'm going to do that with Patrick in 2025. I think we've committed okay. to that, starting in the plotting mode for that. You're welcome to join you and Jim. I think we, I sent you that cruise thing that we're going to do, I think, um, which is the old mail line. They, they re, and they're delivering the mail, which I think is so great. They've just taken over the mail route up to the Arctic Circle. And then they've decided to do it on a cruise ship. So then they're also transporting tons of food back and forth. And I just, that, that business model, if you have a chance to look at their website, it is thoughtful, really good. So I have to write the name down, but it's an H and Swedish sounding, and I will never be able to pronounce it, but I'll put it down. Um, but what do you think about Bainbridge Island? Yes. And you just mentioned that drink company in Portland. Right. What if you started at Portland and then up to, because I know Bainbridge Island is also Seattle. Right. And Church Mouse, Yarns and Tea. No, they closed their physicals. Mm, damn yeah. it. Ratters. But, I mean, Lamb and Kid. Yeah. I, 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 
on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm both obsessed and angry about it. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. I would love to do West. I, I'm interested in West Coast for sure. Okay. And and um, only people talk about the Oregon coast, like the actual yeah. coastline is supposed to be spectacular. Yeah. Um. So. so and you know, my... Uh, we can also talk about including the hubbies at some point here too. Yeah, well, I mean, I know we are already committed for 26 to do, we had talked about to do um, Pebble Beach. Beach. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, and I don't think it's too soon to start planning that either. Okay, probably not. Right. So right. we need to do, and then the other ones I had on still Iceland, Scotland, I'm still all about Shetland too, man. Yes. Shetland is just that. Do we have to plan it for twenty thirty five? Right, like just okay. in terms of. I know, right? Or do we do it with a tour? Do we do yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and if we're gonna do that, I'd like to add Iona. Yes, I would like to add Iona. Yeah. So because that's the tour we can do is the Celtic one, and then pop over to Shetland and not make it right. So there's a lot of options. Because do we, you know, Iceland's, poor Iceland's having mm -hmm. issues. And I just read, like, the it's they're talking about this volcanic activity is going to be, like, years of this cycle. Yeah. So. Uh, All right, well, so anyway, let's, good, let's, good stuff. Let's take Iceland off the list. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And let's move Norway to the back of the bus. Okay. I want to go, though. I might have no. to go. Well, maybe we the four of us go. I think part of it for me is Patrick's like, are you going to do all your fun travel with Gretchen and not with me? And I was like, maybe. <laughs> so. And wait, know. where, what do you do in Germany with Vienna? Yeah. Vienna. We're yeah, so and um, Elena just got into Vanderbilt, which is very exciting. Her daughter, early decision, so she's over the moon. And so we're going to do Prague, Vienna, and Salzburg. And we've already picked the week. We she and I got together with her when I went to pick up Josh from school. So we and when are, is that? It is uh, July. Oh okay. no, actually, look at that. It's June twenty sixth to July first. Okay. Yeah, because the other thing that's tricky for me is I'm going to roll into college admissions time in fall. So that it's just like, I feel like once I get this little tiny bird, oh, yes. Yeah, a little yes. bit. Did I tell you, did I tell you about this? You did tell me, but I didn't see the hat. I'm we got the hats for great. I love it. So did you get your events yet? Yes. Okay. So um, this is the Paris Olympics. This is bananas. We don't live like this in normal life. I'll just start there. But our... <laughs> I drink my tea while you do it. My daughters, maybe I've already mentioned this, but my daughters, it, it was like on Instagram, the lottery for Olympic events. And that was how you get tickets is by the lottery. And my husband and I were like, sure you know, ha ha. Like, we're like, like, this is going to happen. Like they're going to do it and follow through. Right. The percentage mm -hmm. was low in our minds. Well, guess what? <laughs> they did it. <laughs> so long story short, we, we, uh, through the lottery, got tickets for a woman's soccer game, okay. a women's soccer game, um, beach volleyball under the Eiffel tower at night. Oh, how amazing is that going to be? Table tennis. Jim really wanted to see ping pong. Okay, that's cool. I know. So those are our three that we're going to build around. Okay. And the um, the soccer game's actually in the south of France. So we're going to fly to Nice and do southern France. I'm actually more excited about that yeah. than Paris. This just because I think Paris is going to be bananas, right? It's yeah. the Olympics. Um, 
And Jim has a work colleague who's from Paris. His aunt has a, an apartment. Like, we're just going to pay her. And because I started going on VRBO and was like, we can't go. There's oh, no oh, there's nothing left. Well, it's just exorbitant. The mark, I mean, they, as they should, whatever, because yeah. they can. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, we super lucked out. We really lucked out. That's good, 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 good. Oh, that's so exciting. And it when is, do you, is it summertime? And summertime, end of July. End of July. Okay. Um, so right. yeah. Okay. So again, we'll have both have had. Oh, can I overseas tell you? these adventures. Well, I'm having two, right? Josh leaves on the 18th oh. to go to Paris. So we're going in March. And the other thing I was going to tell you is guess whose pop-up is going to be open the week that we're there? La Bien Ami. So she's already published that and it's the exact week that we are there. Oh, fantastic. You have to go. I'm going to go. I want to yeah, see yeah. what she does. Like, cause I've seen her stuff in others, but not her whole thing put together. And I just... Uh -huh. We might need some live coverage or video clips for the pod. Yeah. yeah, because I think that'll be good, good, good. So, yeah. All okay. right. Well, yeah. I say we maybe lean toward a West Coast possible adventure. All right. So what we now need to do is date coordination. Okay. okay the big thing and so let's send schedules because lastly the last thing I'll tell you is I'm working on a sibling trip and the place that we've picked interestingly is at Burlington Vermont so you are going to have to act as travel agent for that I need all the goods so oh set yeah. you up okay good yeah so not related to anything but that's also on the calendar okay. too well so, so if and yeah we also can do nothing, like, we can also, you know, I come to New York for a weekend, like. We'll figure it out. Well, yeah. we need to get together to plan our trip. <laughs> I might need to come there to get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. All That's right. A, all good. All good. Okay. All good. And I, I hope to have more knitting next time. It. Ironically, that is what is hurting. Is it? Yeah. Which, who knows? It'll. I'm going to be patient. It's. Oh my gosh! I was going to. It's not even been a month. Has no, it, it hasn't. I know. <laughs> I. I know. You might want to give yourself a break. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. Care. Thank you for all your sweet goodies and follow up <laughs> and notes. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, I knew it was brutal. No. It, when does the chair and the ice machine go back? The chair is going back today. Oh, good. I'm going to hold good. that ice machine for a while. Yeah, good. Good, good. If it's working, yeah. why Right, yeah. right. So. All right, yeah. honey. I love you. I love you. And we'll see everybody soon. Sounds good. Comment below. Yeah, we want to see who's watching and what yeah. you think. We yeah. got more less of yes <laughs> so all right all right bye bye